So the big question is this, how do small businesses like yours, who feel like you're doing all the right things and going to all the right events, reach the federal buyer in a way that helps you win more contracts? That is the question, and this is the place to get your answers. My name is Neil McDonald. Welcome to the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Okay, let's get started with another quick task for you to improve your small business. It'll only take 15 minutes and will definitely strengthen the foundation of your company. My name is Neil McDonald and I've been where you are now. I've been a small business owner for 20 years, building two successful firms selling to the federal government. I've done things right and I've gotten things wrong. These tips are designed to help you do more of the right things and less of the wrong things. By taking the actions I'm suggesting, you'll accept responsibility, which in turn will give you control of your future success. This content is brought to you by the GovCon Chamber of Commerce, the only organization dedicated to the success of all small businesses in the federal space. Each year, roughly $125 billion is awarded to the small businesses as prime contractors. Our vision is to double that number by helping small businesses truly understand the process for success. Taking action on the tips you hear today is part of that process. Today's action item for you is to make sure that your um, DSBS profile, your small business profile, but inside of DSBS, to make sure your capability narrative is complete. And when I say complete, there's a thousand characters you can use, and so you use them all of them. But some of you have nothing, and, and we'll go into that in a minute. But that's the tip is to get in there and take care of that. DSBS, if you don't know that, this tool here is the number one place the federal government uses to find small businesses like yours. If your narrative is missing or it's incomplete, buyers will skip over looking at your profile and just go ahead and visit your competitors instead. Do you want the federal buyers to skip over you because of an error on your profile that would take you 15 minutes or less to identify and begin to fix? I know that you don't. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. So I mentioned uh, DSBS, this is the tool. You can come on down to the bottom into this area that says searching for a specific profile and you enter in your cage code, DUNS number or your company name to search for your profile. When it comes back up, take a look at your profile and follow the tips I'm about to show you on your capability narrative. So for this exercise, I searched on um, all SA or all 8A firms, excuse me, that are also HUBZone certified. And really the reason I did it is because it gives me a manageable number of a thousand profiles. So 960, right? And inside of here, the, when, a, when the government buyer is searching for small businesses, it, they get the results like this. There might be different fields that come up, but capability narrative is always there right here in the middle. And that narrative basically is the answer to what do you guys do? So if the government is searching for cybersecurity or construction, you know, road paving, they put in a keyword to search and then the results come up like this. They read this narrative to see if what you wrote down as a narrative matches what they're searching for. In their mind, when they search for cybersecurity, they're not looking for a company that says we do cybersecurity, we do software, we do network engineering, we do professional staffing, we do administrative and finance. It's like at some point they go, wait, no, I just want a cybersecurity company. I don't want an everything company. But even worse than that is a company that's blank. And so as you come through and you see me scrolling down, look at these blanks that show up, right? Why would any buyer look at the blank companies, the companies that have no narrative, when they can just move on to the ones that have something? And in fact, they tend to look for the ones that have something in there. This company here says um, they're committed to providing government and commercial customers with, uh, with sapient solutions using cutting edge methodologies blah, 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 with the combined knowledge of such and such. You know, they, they've got a good narrative there. And that's what I want you to do. Go in and make sure, first off, you're not blank. To help you understand how important this is, of these 960 companies that I show you here, 175 of these are blank. That means 175 8A companies that are also HUBZone certified are blank. They have no profile. I mean, no capability there, excuse me. That is just unbelievable. Consider how much effort they went to get HUBZone certified and 8A certified. So take the time to come in here and fill out your narrative. Um, 
In addition to that, these fields, as you can see, some people have really single lines of entry and other people have full paragraphs. That's because inside of here, this field allows you to put 1000 characters in there. So, you know, every letter, every space, every comma, it's a character and you can have up to 1000 characters in this paragraph. You wanna make sure you're using all of it, if, you know, close to all of it. When you look at all these blanks, there's 960 companies. 714 of these companies are using less than 500 characters. And what that means is that they're leaving 500 characters unused, 500 keywords that you could write in, words that perhaps your buyers are searching for. Um, maybe they don't look for cybersecurity, they look for information assurance or computer security, whatever it is. Um, they're using different words that are in there. You need to make sure you use it all, but um, 700 companies are using less than 500. And so my challenge for you on today's 15 minute task is get into DSBS and search for your profile and make sure you at least have something in there that's a good narrative. You should be able to easily pull it off of your website or your capability statement if you've already done those and put that in here. And if you really wanna get an A grade on your profile, try to use a thousand characters in this field for the capability narrative. The way you get access to the um, narrative field to be able to edit it is through sam.gov. You go all the way to the last page on sam.gov. There's a button that says DSBS or edit your small business profile. Click on that and you're off to the races. The other way is through GLS. Um, it's an SBA tool, general login service. You can go in there, have an account and they'll allow you access to what are called supplemental pages. And basically supplemental pages are DSBS. So you can go in that direction as well. Um, let me just point out one other thing. Uh, I always tell people to take the time to join the chamber, it's free. If you came into the chamber and you were looking for guidance on that, one of our courses in here is DSBS, your key to being discovered. And this is where we walk through every field that's in there. And you can see there's a lot of modules, a lot of content in here about how to, how to just have the best one out there. But module five is capabilities narrative, talking about how it's your elevator pitch. But in here, I walk you through exactly what the narrative is for and how it's used. And then some great examples that are out there. Then I talk about how to write yours, right? How to do some initial research, how to research your competitors to see what's going on. That's a normal thing. And then how to shape a final capability narrative. So you've got this great answer within your small business profile to the question, what do you do? And um, I know that you're trying to sell to the federal government. And so you absolutely are trying to answer the question of what do you do? So go in there and and get your profile filled out and make sure that capability narrative is really impressing the buyers when they knock on the DSBS doors. Okay, if you found this content valuable, others will too, please give it a thumbs up so they can find it. Let me know that you um, did your narrative. I wanna go check that out. If you'd like to connect with me personally, do so on LinkedIn. We often do free training webinars and interview federal buyers. Sign up for the GovCon Chamber's email list to be notified about these opportunities right here at www.govconchamber.com. Finally, please consider becoming a sustaining member of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Help us keep bringing you great content like this for a dollar a day. I'm Neil McDonald, wishing you great success.